At nagbabalik po dito sa Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Ako pa rin po ang inyong lingkod, si Jen Reyes. Kasama pa rin po natin si Z. Hervaso. And nasungkit nga po ng Ateneo Lady Eagles ang set number 3. And that was a set with a lot of really extended rallies. And we saw the resistance and resilience of these two teams when it comes to floor defense. That's right, Sinj. At mukha ngang one-sided kanina yung panalo ng Ateneo when they made four consecutive points after, after that second technical timeout. But kumapit, kumapit na kumapit itong uh, Adamson squad hanggang sa dulo. It was 19 to 22, but eventually Ateneo pulled away and finished the set in 25 to 20. Makikita natin sa attacks, ayan na. Lumayo na ang Lady Eagles with 13 attack points as compared to only 7 of the Lady Falcons. Sa blocks, parehas lang. 3 to 3 sa serves. Di na nagkakalayo. Lady Eagles getting 2 aces as to 1 of the Lady Falcons. At sa opponent airs, hindi rin nagkakalayo. Ayun nga, nabanggit na nga ng ating Barker dito. Dalawang oras na na naglalaro itong first game. Kasi nga, sobrang dikit ng ating laban ngayong araw and na to. And we've seen the longest games. rallies yes. so far in the conference, if I may. I have, I have a feeling if we time those rallies, these are probably the longest rallies in this conference. So, so far, ha? yes. Yes. So, and, Iisipin natin kasi medyo rival tong dalawang to. Kasi medyo preview na rin to ng uh, kanilang um, main UAAC, yes. yes. And you, we must also count for the longest times in the history of an Ateneo Adamson matchup. It's always a contra pelo match. Ika nga natin yung pagkaharap din ng dalawang kapunan na ito. Because the floor defense of Adamson will always yes. complement the firepower of Ateneo. Not just in this era of these girls, but also in the Golden and golden times where we saw you donning that blue and white jersey. We are calling it old fashioned. Oh, hindi naman. Medyo lang. Kasi, <laughs> kasi maganda itong point ng ating, ano, ng ating kasama dito sa Twitter na si Times Like This Makes Me Miss UAP Season 74 to se Season 77. Wow. The Valdez, Fab Five, Lazaro, Ella, Ira. O, oh, diba? <laughs> Speaking of feeling old, get the uh, uh, Chen Abe, who is just a rookie here, making that first point for that Adamson lady party. Ako nga, kung feeling old lang nga, nakita ko kasi pong guy Gaston na high school is. <laughs> diba? Ano pang feeling old time dito? <laughs> Pero pumulit tayo dito sa ball game. Una nang pumutos doon, yung ating Lady Falcons. And speaking of long rallies, here we go again. Another one for the books. And the next rally natin, as Ave tries to score there. Great instincts from Ave for Medilla. We'll fire a cannon there, and that finally ends that rally for our Lady Falcons. By the way, Z, gusto ko lang din pati yun ha. Nanon din sa atin si Renz. Baby Teddy, hello. Hello. Oh, Sinjin, by the way, speaking of Jerry. golden and golden. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Golden and Golden, mapapanood din yung mga previous UAP games sa Liga. Of course. Mga One Piece days din yes. yung Rivasa. Did you ever imagine how a One Piece looks like in volleyball? Watch Liga. At abangan nyo kung kailan pinapalabas yung mga games na yun. Pero ito, hindi nagpapapigil ang Adamson Lady Falcons. Ngayon, tatlong sunod-sunod na puntos ang pinutos doon. Dalawa doon kay Aave ha. So really stepping up for Coach Air Padak. Now we have Bird Flora on the service line. Nice floater from Flora, and that gets an ace for Adamson. So far, everything is working for Adamson. Service. Hits. Hits. Good start here Coverage. For, for the Adamson squad. And Coach O'Space explains the victory of Adamson in this early part of the set. Ave there. Ave again, is once again on fire here for Shento Kung for Shento at mapipilitang tumawag ng timeout dito si Coach Oliver Almadro pakigat natin ito Tinatanong mo kasi kagad siyang tatamaban ng dahan ng mole gusto kagad ako tinagaginip eh eh, hey, hiwala na nagsasalita 
Nag-iintayin na tayo. We're like a zombie short. No one's talking if it's short. No one's talking if it's long. No one's talking if it's check. Kung kaya hindi pwede magmamadali. Come on. Yes, palagi po. Pambak na natin. Slow start na naman tayo. Kocho obviously disappointed with how the girls are doing in the first point of the set. And so, ang kailangan talagang magising nitong ating League Eagles. Because they have the two set advantage, but everything is working on the side of our Lady Falcons and G. Yung pagpabangta ko kanina na maghanda-handa na tayo, mukhang kailangan natin maghanda because Krish Makaslang and the rest of the Lady Falcons are very much into this game. There again, Kirsch was long. Soaring back to back points by Dito. So Lady Falcons, it's still no answer on the side of Ateneo. Medyo nagre-relax at ang Ateneo squad natin after that victory in the previous set. At ito namang Adamson gustong lumaban pa. Of course, Adamson wants to extend this to a fifth and deciding set because that will keep them alive and now we give them their first win here. But 8-0 run for Adamson. What a feat here. And that brings Adamson to the first technical timeout. Magbabalik po kami dito sa PBL Open Conference. And we are back here on the PBL Open Conference. 8-0 po. Hindi po kayo nagmamalik mata sa inyong nakikita. Yan po ang simula nitong ating fourth set na halos dalawang oras na pong nag-run itong larong ito. But we are still alive here and we are now yes. looking at the people from Zambales the Zambales kids na umalis pa daw ng 1am mula wow. sa Zambales para lamang makasama tayo dito sa PBL and if I'm not mistaken we also have people from Guam watching here today so really quite a touching experience for the PBL today and what a game we're showing here long rallies Probably one of the longest matches that we have so far. And what a game these two teams are showing. Adamson really showing a fight here as Berman Filia tries to score there. But she overcooks that one. That sails out. Lady Eagles get their first point. Medyo worth it yung punta ng ating mga guests natin today. Lahat ng nandito sa ayin na hindi nalugin sa pagkili ng cricket today. At lahat ng nanonood yung 24 plus thousand na sumasama sa atin dito. Kung nagpupuyat yung iba dyan, hindi po kayo nalulugi sa inyong pagpupuyat. Definitely. Flora going off the block there. Tolentino is denied by Permentilia. Ponce was there for the coverage. Permentilia through the blockers. Into the block. And that brings Adamson Nine. back to an 8-point advantage. Sabi nga nila, try and try until you succeed. Finally, Sierra Permentilia getting that hit through the three points. Oh, she's trying to get her move back here in this match. And speaking of, sabi nga ni Lea Tadito dito or Tadito. Grabe ang lakas talaga po. Malo ni Sierra pag naka-block. Pag naka-block sa back row, ang balik. Grabe naman talaga. Mga gawa dito ni Sierra. At sabi naman ni Crinkle Gao. Go Adamson, I love from... Yan yan na worldwide na tayong PBL Open Conference. At sabi naman dito ni Mary Rose Deira. Go Ateneo, Madi Madayag, Madi Madayag Block are on point. Hi Dao, I see your battle. At sa akin, watching all the way from Taiwan. Hello sa iyo, Mary Rose. Hello, ang ating mga worldwide kapang liya. Thank you for finishing in. Here. And I believe it's safe to say that they're watching by a YouTube channel ng ating ABS-CBN Sports. So, maraming salamat po sa pagtutok dito sa ating PBL Open Conference. Kiara trying to get or look for a check ball there. But that seals out. Balik sa pito ang abante ng Adamson dito. And let's go to Janine Choi for her report. 
Sinjin at Bea para sa Lady Eagle na si Bea De Leon. Sinabi niya na game after game, they're more motivated and more inspired to do well. At dahil UAAP team nga ang kalaban nila ngayong araw, they're even okay. more challenged okay. to leave okay. a good impression. Nagkat pa ni Bea na ang advantage nila sa game na ito ay ang kanilang time. Kaya importante ang ma-utilize at magamit nila yun sa set na ito. And being one of the senior members in her team, may mas malaking responsibility na si Bea. And that is to also look out for her teammates and assure that everyone else in the team is also doing and performing their best. Balik sa inyo, Sinjin at Z. Maraming salamat, Janine. Very good point there. Being UAP rivals or UAP um, matched teams is so something that you really have to discuss. If I may recall, back in the 8th eighth or ninth season of the SBLZ, you played against Adamson in the finals and that's where your Ateneo squad won their first championship before the preseason of season 74. How does it feel to face your college um, opponents in an off-season tournament? And what difference does it bring coming into the UAAP? Parang mas gumagana yung pagiging proud mo maging atinista or taga Adamson, di ba? Um, parang your game is Nora so much higher when you play and defend the well, pride of your school. More. Yeah, um, yun nga, kaya natin sinasabi kanina pa na medyo college rivals to kasi sila lang yung collegiate teams na nandito naglalaro sa ating TVL Open Conference. Kaya medyo importante din sa kanila yung laban na to kasi ito nga yung uh, magpapakita kung ano yung maaring palabasan in their season in the UAP. And sabi nga ni Coach o, eh, dito pa lamang nila masusukat talaga kung kumusta na ba sila pagdating sa UAP. Kasi first time nilang makakaharap ang isang UAP team Ball off season. And on the side of Coach Air, of course, this is a good gauge for her. She has an incomplete squad inside the court, but this is still a good gauge for her. Kung anong kailangan pa niyang i-improve pagdating ng UAP. But looking at the scoreboards, Adamson maintaining that 7-8 point lead here. So let's see how Ateneo tries to answer here because Adamson seems to be working well here as Flora hits it off the block. Wong puts it up for Gaston down the line. Bumalik ang bola. Oh! Ball is still alive here. Flora there, quick on the instinct. Madaya will try to score, but Ponce was there. Flora, bukang set, pero pinalo pa din. Sasagot sa kabilang panig, Pongay Gaston. Pinangat dito, pupunta kay Flora. Soft touch. Pongay with an off speed there. Another long rally we're having here. Net touch, Gaston. A net touch will Ooh. be called against Ateneo. So, balik sa walo ang abate dito ng Adamson. Gabi yung pusong pinapakita dito ng Adamson so far. Sharp eye there by our second referee. Namatay yung bola sa side ng Adamson. Pero nakita niya na there was a net infraction. And that's why we have six people on the court manning and watching their own stations. Kasi yung tumawag, if I'm not mistaken there, yung tumawag nung touch na doon is itong second referee natin. Siya yung nakapansin yung net touch. So that was a great judgment call there coming on the side of our referees. But there, a miscue was seen between Madaya and Wong. Aabante ng siyam na puntos itong ating Adams and Lady Falcons. What a set this has been for Coach Erpada and her squad. Coach Air dancing on the sideline with that goal because that was an illegal back row attack from the Ateneo side. Papasok ulit dito ni Coach. Tignan naman natin. Ayan sa ating slow-mo, naka-freeze. Naka-apak doon si Cat Tolentino sa line. Explain that further, Z, about back row attacks. What's the basic rule about that? Basically, for attackers, bawal kang umapat, umapak doon sa 10-foot line or sa tinatawag nating attack line kasi nga, you are a back row player. So, it's a little bit more technical uh, rule ng ating uh, volleyball. Strong! And for Minty! Siyempre, kinaklarify lamang natin yan kasi Six. sa 24,000 na manunod, baka may bago pa tayong na ingan yung sumama sa atin dito today. But that last point goes for Ateneo. So, balik sa siya, mga kanilang 
Now, Aldito Gander is now checking back in for Samonte. With Madayag Martin just to the service line. Ave was there for the pickup. They go to Flora. Woo! Great dig there from Madayag. On the other side, they go to Flora again. Madayag checks her again. But Jaja Laura, unable to catch up seconds, to that second, second ball. And that brings second, Adamson to a 10 point 16, advantage. Adamson, 16 to 10. Six, Six, Open Six, Open Conference. And we are back here on the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Kita kita natin dyan ng ating crowd today. Dun sa corner. Dun pa yung nanay ng mga athlete. Si Phil Kaiget, Kayatano. Pero kompletong kompleto ang ating audience today. Saan man sulok ng mundo? May taga-guam, taga-zambales, mga nagpuyat. Bago para makarating lamang dito. So maraming salamat po mga kapamilya sa pagsama sa amin dito. Hindi lamang sa arena, kundi sa YouTube. This has been Sinjin Reyes again. Kasama natin si Zeher Vasho in this heated fourth set between Ateneo Motolite Lady Eagles and the Adamson Akai Lady Falcons. This is prob this might probably record to be one of the longest games that we have so far. Rallies palabang ang tagal tagal na. On the side of Ateneo, it looks like we are missing a player. At yung mga, yung mga miembro ng Adamson dito, nagka-countdown na. Looks like Madaya came from the washroom and and kailangan siya for protocol purposes. He had to be inside the court to submit the libero, which is part of our protocol. I guess one fact there. Um, there was one game day na si Ateneo yung game before us. Mm -hmm. And Maddie keeps going to the back. <laughs> Parang too much information tayo di on that last. Okay, ba kasi na hindi nila ano nang yari ba? Oh. Kasi nila the worst is like good back to the injury or anything, but. She was okay, Magalala. She just had to. But if I'm not mistaken, if the game is delayed for too long, right? Um, there's some infractions that can, that will be given to the opposing team. So very. Kaya naman nakita natin yung mga nigo chow. Oh my God. Um, frustration. Frustration. Having sabi niya talaga na sa But that clarifies things up. And the ego for the serve there, and she got one point already. Jaja tried to dump on that last play. They go to Tolentino on the back row. Tang Ponce with a Buis Boy save there, but Ave baby it. And that ball doesn't go across. Luckily, Adamson still has a 10 point advantage here, rather. Right, uh, well, there was a good intention there uh, from Ave giving an off speed shot. Because tower hits. See, once again. Marginot chooses. Pong guy just And that's a nine point disadvantage already. Nine points. Ang minahabo dito ni Jaja Marginot and the rest of the Lady Eagles. MJ Igao goes underhanded. She's a Flora. Inangat dito, they go to Kat Tolentino off the hands of the blockers. Off the block. Kat Tolentino. Nice. Going for that set from the back row. Kita natin na uh, he's getting more comfortable in out of system sets. Kapa galing man si Setter yan or si Libero, talagang nakakapag adjust na siya. And we're seeing Ateneo having some signs of life here. Tignan natin kung magtutuloy tuloy. Great coverage from Adamson. Free ball ang nabigay doon yung bakas lang. Pinangat dito kay Catolitino. That doesn't cross. Balik sa siya. Mga bante dito ng Adamson Akai. Flora now on the service line. Racking up 21 big points na itong si Bernie Flora Z. Another. We could give an ace to Flora there. 
more points for Floe. Ayun nga, napansin mo, or napansin natin kanina in her previous game with her team. Talagang makapaghalas na na, yung nga sabi mo, triple double. Triple double. But look, 11. But Flora really is the heart and soul of this athlete, of this athlete of God so far. But looks like Kiara Permintia came to play. This set of boy in Buhay. Adamson Tito with an 11 point lead. But now, we'll the time out of Coach Oliver Almadre. Because he's going to be a good one. Where, where? We're guessing eh, what they will do eh. Gumagalaw, bumalik na sa kalaban yung bola. Kailangan, alam na natin, ball awareness, court awareness ka agad. What's happening, Kat? You talk, are you moving, moving, moving? He's get, she's getting in, she's getting in plan eh. We really have to talk. That's the main key. We have to talk. Talk and listen is important. Hindi pwede talk ng talk. Wala nakikinig. Now, Manny, kung sabi ko, huwag ka muna dumipas. Hayaan mo, matas ka mga baba naman yung bola eh. That's something that the Ateneo squad is looking for in this set, confidence. Let's see if it's still in the words of wisdom in that last huddle. Also giving some few reminders to her ladies na kailangan nilang maghakot ng momentum in this set if ever they go to a five to a fifth set for so far ha, itong ating Adam Sumakari they have been on cruise control getting some points, using some points but that 10, 9 point advantage has always been there on the side of Adamson so tignan natin if they'll be able to finish this as Avif flies Pinangat to Jaja, they go to Van Gander. Gander with a cross court kill. What a lucky shot there Evan, from Gander. 20. Going to the middle. Good adjust from her. Then I think you said, man, got it in the back row, but adjusted pretty well. And maganda yung approach niya na napalo ni yung bola pa baba. Well, Ateneo making their own little run here. From an 11 point lead, they bring it down to 8. And we're now seeing Tita Dutay Gaston, the mom, of course, the very big mom of Pongay Gaston. The dad of Pongay is also in the building, si Tita Fritz. Eh. They're usually kasi daw si Tita Fritz, Davia Janzi. But before we go there, we na muna tayo. So, time out, go to Air Pada, pakigat po natin ito. You can use your hands, you can set that ball. Right now, get your ankles set, your feet set. She's not serving a hard ball. And look, you and Flora, you need to communicate on the serve receive pass. Who's got short, who's got deep, who's got the seam? The serve is coming from over there. Who's got the short ball? Okay. Ayun nga, medyo tumawag ng timeout si Coach Air kasi Ateneo already got a four-point run here in the fourth set. So, so si Coach Air medyo binibigyan ng sense of urgency ang kanyang mga players. Tsaka mukhang hindi papakampante siyempre dahil nakita natin yung kahapon yung Ateneo humahabol 20-12. Nakasukit that's a good time set number two. So they really have to play it serious here. Kiara Permitia gets a point off the block and breaks that Ateneo. A 4 0 run from Ateneo. Addison looking to close out this set. Sir Makaslan now on the service line. Loader from Makaslan. In a man, Dito Ni Marginal Kick, Tolentino. Great coverage. They go to Ave from the back. Kasalang kabila, Tolentino, mula sa kwatro. Boy pang bola. They choose Flora from the back row. Marginot puts it up for Gandler. Ball is still alive. 
Valentino down Woo! the line. Valentino! <laughs> Coach here on the sideline wanted to put that ball up but realized that he touched it. <laughs> that play would have been over. Let's go back to that play. Three times to the box, Sikat. And on the third try, finally. Oh, yeah. Guest player. Oh, guest player. Coach player, si coach Leonard. That would be an interesting thing to see. Actually. Yeah, that would be very interesting. I heard she played. Valentino, well read. Well, you are with me. NCAA. 14. But let's go back to that point. Valentino is denied there by Kermit Lilia. Jaja goes to Pongai from the back row. Iga on the other side chooses Kiara again. But that sails out and a net touch is called against Kiara Permitilla. He was going for a tech ball but overpowered at Nedo. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Good try, great effort from our Adam Sanakari girls. Now the question is, what does Adamson need to do to close this out, Z? They just need to be consistent and focus on the three remaining points that they need to do. A quick push from Madaya. Ateneo is being resilient here in the fourth set, saying, we don't have to win just a little bit. And Coach Air acknowledging that he's a bit hard for his players and calls it out. Let's listen in. We have to do the palo and the swing. Very clear instructions from Coach Air. I'm loving how Coach Air starts to incorporate Filipino in her timeouts. It's really, and she says it's really important so that she can communicate better with her girls. But bago tayo magkalimutan, yung mag-hi lang din tayo dito kay Ate Vina. Sumusupport us sa ating dalawa dito. See on the sideline. She's watching all the way from Singapore. I'd also, I'd also like to say hi to my dentist, Doc Jonas. I'll see you tomorrow, Doc. I'm not going to play with you. But no choice. Great matchup today. We can't miss out on it. And Flora soars from the back row. Sasagot sa kabilang panig. Kat Tolentino. Tolentino! She sees the hole. 18, 22. Apat na puntos na lamang inahabol dito ng Adamson. And look at the back set from Jaja Marguerite. Tolentino making something out of it. Wow. They're only down four points. Kanina 8-0. It was up to a ten-point lead, Z, believe it or not. That was 2010. It looks like Yara is not giving up. Making sure they finish this out. Ringo is now coming in for Yara for Last two points for... And on, and on the other side, double substitution para kay Coach. Ipapasok si Kim Ikeliana para kay Katolitino. At ipapasok naman si Dina Wong sa kaya. And it's a good strategy here for Coach O having three good receivers on her, on his back row. Kapunta kay Gander, Gander ulit. Pinamat dito para kay Flora on the other side. Peralta was there for the save. Gandler will now give free ball. They choose Flora. He's through the blockers. Peralta steady on the back end. Vanny Gandler sees the corner. Gandler on the line. To the light. To the light. 
Mga Pinayo fans, ang nipis ng dinaanan ni Vanny doon. At saktong-sakto sa linya. Pasok na pasok. Gadget went over the block. And inside, Adamson's court. Vanny again, now on the serve. Over-received. Maddy there with a tip. Bang chooses Laura. Ooh! With the finger wag coming from Bird Flora. And that brings Adam Sonakari to their first set point advantage with a five point advantage. Coach O. Telling Dina to always watch the ball. Let's see if Adam can push this out. The wall tries to drop it. It's denied there by Flora. Ave still keeping things alive. Oh! Ball is in. Medyo na intimidate doon si Igao. Kasi yun nga naman, si Maddy ang blocker mo. Saka nakakailang din yung pwesto niya para kumunin yung bola doon. But don't worry, they still have four set points here. Let's see what Ateneo does to retaliate. Kadaya gets on the service line. Sharp service there. Reaching Flora, she's denied, oh! nobody! Rejected. Home on the back row of Adamson. Bongai cheering up her teammates. Solid block there by Dea De Leon. Nobody to get that ball from the Lady Falcons. Madaya still on the service line. Easy pick up there. They chase Pakaslang with a soft touch. Ooh, and that touch will be called against Ateneo. And that gives Adamson set number four. Tabla po tayo, two sets of piece. Dito po, mga kapamilya. And that brings us to fifth and deciding set. What a match it has been so far, Z. Grabe, Sinjin. Everyone's at the edge of their seats. It's been 25, 17, 23, 25, 20, 25, and 25, 21. It's another exciting set number five. Sabi probably dito sa PBL Open Conference.